Well, with record attendance, thousands of wreaths were placed at the Minnesota State Veterans Cemetery in Little Falls over the weekend. Our Sarah Winkleman has the details on the wreaths for the fallen ceremony. It's a National Remembrance Day where we remember uh, and honor all our nation's fallen veterans. The wreaths for the fallen ceremony dates back to 2006, where they placed only five wreaths and since then have continued to grow each year. We have enough wreaths that came in in those trucks to put a wreath on every single veteran's grave this morning. With hundreds of volunteers that came out today, nearly 5,000 wreaths were laid in a record time of only 24 minutes. It's quite an example of teamwork and everybody working together. With many attendees being loved ones of the fallen veterans. There are families that have uh, daughter, son, father, uh, wife uh, interred out here and it means an awful lot to them. Like Debbie, who was able to place a wreath on her dad's grave. This is my first year laying on the wreath and it's pretty, pretty cool. For others, it's tradition and they've been coming year after year. It's great. It's fantastic. But for some others, they have no personal connections, just a thankfulness for the veterans. It's really fun to come out here and lay wreaths because um, because you get to see how much soldiers died for you. There's no better way to honor these people. They've done a great justice. It's something the organizers and participants hold close to their heart. Being a part of this is just extraordinarily uh, uh, rewarding. It, it kind of, even on a chilly day, kind of warms the heart that, that you can remember the veterans that, that stood up for us when we weren't able to. It's a little gesture that means so much to so many. Reporting in Little Falls, Sarah Winkleman, Lakeland News. All of the wreaths were donated by individuals and organizations at a price of $15 a wreath. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.